Hi there, this is Fionn, the creator of Joyway Digital. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new undated digital budget planner so you can reuse it every year for your financial planning. The first thing that you need for your digital planner will be a tablet, a stylus, and a note-taking app. So for today's demonstration, I'm using an iPad Pro 11-inch, an Apple Pencil 2nd generation. For the note-taking app, I'll be using GoodNotes 5 because this is the more popular option. I think it's really easy to use and intuitive. You can also use other apps like Flexel, Notability or Zodo as well. To download and import your files, you have to go to the internet browser. I would recommend Safari as compared to Chrome. That's because Chrome can be quite unstable when it comes to downloading exit files. So if you still have issues downloading, just contact me at Etsy and I can email you the files. But one thing to note is that Etsy app does not allow you to download any files at the current moment. So using the internet browser or through the email sent to you are the two ways to go. Now, after making a purchase at my Etsy store, click on your profile picture over here and then go to purchases. Now at the purchases page, you'll find there is one zip file and the other file, which is the good notes file. Now on your right side, there is a download file section. So just tap on that. This is a message given by me. And then at the bottom, you'll see the digital planner files, PNG sticker set, good notes sticker set for good notes user. Just tap on the download buttons and you're good to go. Over here, you see a little button here. Just tap on that. Tap again to unzip the files. So inside the digital planner, you will see the digital budget planner, instructions, and the planner covers. To import the planner, all you have to do is to tap on the planner page. So over here at the share and export button, just tap on that. Swipe until you find good notes. So it's over here. There is also another way to do that. You can look at the menu at the bottom and it says open in good notes. Tap on that. Import as new document. Look for the location where you want to place the planner. And you have the brand new undated digital budget planner in your good notes to start writing on your planner what you have to do is to tap on the pencil icon and you can start writing there are also other tools that you can use and we'll talk about it later on so you realize that using the pencil icon you can tap on any of the hyperlinks so all you have to do is to tap on the pencil icon again and you can navigate around this planner. And there is a home button for you to go back to the menu. To add the cover page into your planner, you have to first import the planner covers into GoodNotes. So altogether, there are four planner covers for you to choose. So for example, if I like this page, all I have to do is go to this three little dots, copy page, or I can go to this thumbnails where the four little squares are, hit select, and then copy. Next, go to your digital budget planner Go to the very first page and then over here you get to see a little arrow that's pointing down. Tap on that and then tap on add page before. Paste page and you get to see your cover page over here. To duplicate any page, all you have to do is to go back to the thumbnails page again. Go to this arrow pointing down button and then hit duplicate. And then you can shift it around as well. 
Inside the digital budget planner files, there is one pre-cropped good note sticker book for you to use. Altogether, there are four pages and also 139 PNG individual stickers. There are basically two ways to use the stickers on your planner. To use the sticker on your good note sticker set, what you have to do is to tap on the pencil icon, use the lasso tool, and then just draw it around the sticker, pull it, and then tap on the copy. Go to a digital budget planner page. And then over here, you can just tap on anywhere you want to place the sticker and then hit paste. To adjust the size of the sticker, you can just tap on it. Drag the corner to make it bigger or smaller. Or you can just simply tap on it to move it around. Now here comes the exciting part. I'm going to show you how to use my budget planner. Here is the index page. You will see that it's neatly divided into different sections. We have set the tone, the yearly, the monthly. At every month, you will see the weekly transactions as well. The savings, debts pay off, bills paid off, extras, and notes. You can easily navigate around the planner as all the tabs and pages are all hyperlinked. I want to make this budget planner a very personal one where it's not simply about budgeting but also a way to find out more about yourself. Asking yourself questions like what are my goals, what are my dreams, what do I love doing, how do I take actions to reach my financial goals and so on. So I have come up with this section called set the tone. I think this is more so important as we are fast approaching the new year. In this section, you can make use of the self-exploration page to do some inner work and hopefully guiding you to a clearer path in creating abundance in life. So over here at the self-exploration page, you can answer some important questions in your life, like what are your goals in life? Why are your goals important? What do you love doing? What are you good at doing? What can you offer to the world now? And what will pay you well. At the next page, we have the vision board. I do enjoy making vision boards as they expand my creativity and serve as a physical representation of the goals that I'm aiming to achieve. To paste the pictures onto your vision board, you can make use of the picture tool. Or you can simply drag and drop from your picture files. We all know that budgeting can be daunting at times, so here is the affirmations page, which is filled with many positive, uplifting messages for you. At the side, there are three blank cards for you to write down some positive messages for yourself as well. Plus, we have all these affirmations as stickers too, so you can paste them anywhere on your planner. At the yearly section, we have the yearly overview with the goal and summary, actions and reflections for the year. Over here, you can set your financial goal of the year. For example, if it's 2022, you can write it here. And you can write down your target income, your savings, debt payoff, investments, and so on. At the bottom, you can write down at the beginning of the year, what is your savings balance, your debt amount, your net worth. At the end of the year, you can write down the same things as well and do a comparison between these two. Over here, you can see there is a yearly summary where you can write down your income, expenses, debt paid off, investments and so on for every month. So you have a very clear and concise view of how much you have spent and how much you have saved at every month. At the monthly section, we have the undated calendar and goal, monthly budget, and also the weekly transactions. You can access the monthly pages at the index page or the hyperlinks at the site. Now let's look at the calendar. So this is an undated one, so you don't have to keep purchasing other budget planners that have fixed dates. You can also make use of the stickers to create all the days and dates for the calendar. This is where you can set 
reminders like bill due, payday and so on. At the side, you can write down your monthly financial goal, your motivation, what are some of the actions that you will take to reach your financial goal. At the bottom, you can write down some of the achievements that you have made in this month and how to improve. You can access the weekly transaction pages at the index page or at the calendar page. At the upper part or at the side at the calendar. At the savings section, you will see the overview. There are altogether six savings progress trackers. By tapping onto the tracker, it will bring you straight to your savings tracker page. You can always create more by duplicating the same page as mentioned earlier. Now let's go to the savings overview. There are six savings progress trackers in total. At the side, there is a graph for you to chart your savings progress as well. At each savings tracker, you can write down a brief description on what you are saving for, your motivation, your goal amount, start date, and target date. Once you are done writing your description, type on the sidebar to proceed with your savings journey. Over here at the savings progress page, you can write down your brief description again. And at the bottom, there is a very beautiful savings chart for you to use so you can have a more visual perspective of how much you have saved up. Once you have made any progress in the savings journey, just write down the amount that you have saved and then use the highlighter tool to color on the savings chart. You will realize that when you are using the highlighter tool to color the jar, the color will not cover up the lines of the drawing, so that's really cool. I think using the savings jar is really fun and it also keeps you motivated to save for more. Be sure to reward yourself something special when you have reached a goal. Similar to the savings progress, we have the debt payoff trackers where you can write down a brief description of your debt, total amount owned, minimum payment, interest rate, due date, goal payoff date, and current balance. And once you have done writing all this description, you can tap on the sidebar to go to the debt payoff progress. Now at the debt payoff progress, you can write down the description again. And you can also use this very pretty visual tracker to track down all your debt payoff progress as well. A little insight story here. So when I was designing this planner, I was thinking to create a visual tracker that symbolizes freedom. And I thought creating a bird would be awesome. I do hope that people who are using this planner can be freed from all the loans that they have and eventually be financially free. Over here at the bills tracker page, you can write down your bills description and the amount and whether they are auto pay or not. So if they are auto pay, all you have to do is just to use the highlighter, draw a circle, and then once you make the payment, just put a check. We do. For notebooks, we have different options here. They are line, grid, checklist, dot grid, and blank. If you need any more of these pages, you can always duplicate the pages again. For the extras, we have some really useful and even fun budgeting related templates for you to use. They are the bank and credit card details where you can fill up your bank and credit card information, donation tracker, subscription tracker, online order tracker for people who love to shop, business profit tracker for those who are doing small businesses and who like to record their production cost, profits and so on. Next, financial book list. And also we have three very pretty visual trackers for mortgage payoff, student loan payoff, and car loan payoff. Before we finish off, there is one very special page that I have created for those who are stressed out with all the budgeting and loan payments. And this page is called The Abundance Game. This game is inspired by the book called Ask and is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I have a clear step-by-step -step instructional guide here, but I just want to talk briefly about it. 
So imagine that you have received $1,000 from the universe one day, $2,000 on the second day, and another $3,000 on the third day. As the days pass, the amount just gets bigger and bigger each day. Isn't it wonderful? So all you have to do is to utilize your imagination, write down how would you like to spend all this money? Is it on a beautiful dress, a fancy dinner, or a relaxing vacation trip with your loved ones? While writing all this down, you may feel a little silly at first, but trust me, the more you write, the feeling will just get better and better, even therapeutic, I would say. So when you feel good, you also in a way a lot more abundance and prosperity to your life and leading a more joyful and wealthy life. We have come to the end of this instructional guide of using my digital budget planner. If you like this planner, feel free to check out the link below for my store or you can simply hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and happy planning!